Shalom, I'm Akio. Brother Kamama Harher, back at it again. First things first, we give all praise to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Bashim, Kakwadash. Double honors and apostles and elders and the truth from GMS. Blessing to the Akio, my dear preaching's word, with our true sincerity. And blessing to Anjana 44,000 and one third. The first fruits, kingdom of heaven, house of David, the Biaf, Dawada. And Shalom, to you brothers out there speaking in different tongues and looking at different nations. Shalom. So, what I wanted to do today is I wanted to get into the video of, um, you know, if you know the Most High and what's love to the Most High. Um, I'm not pretty sure I'm going to title it in general, but I am going to get into the two, you know, how do you know you know the Most High, Yahweh, and the Son, Yahweh Shah. And so, by the scriptures, it tells you, you know, what's love to the Most High and how we know we know Him. So, I wanted to get to that because, you know, um, there's a lot of different doctrines and a lot of different philosophies that the Most High uh, told us to, to stay away from in general. Um, but coming back into this truth, we know that, um, you know, it's not like Christianity or, or anybody else would say we love everybody. And, you know, and there's different things that seem like it's a license for sin. And the things that are like really dis displeasing to the Most High, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushah, you know, um, Israelites who come back in the truth and really understand the fear of the Lord is really going to move and move themselves like a running back. They're going to juke things that they know that's willfully sinning. So like we know what's going on. We know the scripture. We're going to we're going to most likely, you know, uh, keep ourselves away from it if it's if it's controllable. That's the key to this thing. If, if some of these laws that we can control, we should probably go towards the ones we can control. And we know we in captivity. So some of the law we can't keep properly. Which uh, you can, you know, Paul will go into that greatly. Um, but uh, my first precept was uh, Ecclesiastes uh, 13 and 12, or no, 12, 13, actually. Um, Cause this this thing we in is really tough, man. Our, bo our bodies are subject to, to to going off. It's frustrating, man. We need Yahweh Shah to come back, Lord willing, one of those men to get those new bodies, man, so we can. Just be just be on point no matter what, man. Just you know, have a have a body of righteousness and be able to move around and not having to thinking that something this might be wrong or sometimes just things that brothers get into and didn't even know was going off. I mean, this side to be this captivity just gotta get brought down. Um so I want to go to Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. It says, Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the most high and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Now, granted, um, that's a really strong statement. Now, when I'm going into how you know the Most High or love for the Most High, I started off with this one in general because first things first, think, think, look at it from a, a standpoint of uh, so like it, brothers, hold on. look at this from a, a standpoint of um, okay, my, my screen kind of like got dumbed down on me, but but look at it from a, a, a standpoint of. Um, so lock it, brothers. That's that's, that's going to pretty much keep coming at me until I address that. Um, when it comes to, uh, um, you know, as a father to a son, you know, it's going to be a situation where, you know, the, the more the son uh, does what the father says, it's going to, you know, it's going to please the, 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 the father himself. So, you know, what I mean, it's going to, you know, pretty much please them. So by making the father happy, that's also showing the, your father love. You're listening because it says honor thy mother, thy father. So what more than Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah? So I brought that out there because that was common sense. If you're doing what the Most High say to do and you're trying your best, you're pleasing to the Most High. And that would be considered love in this case scenario. So if I go to uh, First John, uh, let me see, First John. Uh, two and three, three through five for the most part. It says, uh, and hereby we do that we know him if we keep his commandments. Right. So, yeah, I mean, like if you, if you, if you're not doing what he's saying, you don't know him for real. Cause you know, if you know the most high Yahweh, you know what I'm saying? Through the son Yahweh Shah, you would know there'd be great fear there. We know fear opens the wisdom and having wisdom and fear of the most high, you're going to do what he's commanded you to do and keep yourself safe. But also, by being safe, you'll be protected by the Most High, and that's love. You know what I'm saying? Because we doing what he, we, what he, what he wants to do, and you know, feast days, Sabbaths, things that new moons, high holy days, things of that nature, the commandments in general, the best of our ability, and that's pleasing. And by pleasing, that that's, that's considered love to the Most High. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's 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 love to be able to to follow and do what your parents tell you to do. 
and, and, and out of that comes great rewards and, you know, glory and things of that nature and good positive energies come from listening to your father and your mother. So what more Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah? And it says, um, not to mention, you know, we, 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 um, going off this thing about, by faith and also, you know, having a fear of the most high. And if I wanted to continue down, it says he's, he that saith I know him and keep him not his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. But here's the point. But whosoever keepeth his word and him verily is the love of the most high perfected. There we go. Hereby know we that we are in him. Exactly. So when you keep, when you keep the word and you keep his, um, Law, statute, commandments, best of your ability, the most high is pleasing to the most high. And that's considered love in the most high perfected in you, man. So you want to, so what we doing on the carnal aspect, um, this is definitely, let me see, I might be able to bring this back up because I, I like to, okay, that does work. Okay, cool. Uh, so, so yeah, so we actually keeping the word, you know, that's love to the most high and rewards come out of that protection, you know, and guiding your steps, you know what I mean? Having a little hedge on you. You know what I mean? And having faith in the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah will just fuel that that uh situation. Because you know the Lord loves faith. Faith is like the thing, it's the battery source of this whole thing. So that's considered love, man. Following his ways and doing what he's supposed to. Especially brothers, you know, Lord uh Thawada Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah that had the spirit on me and the brothers I'm with that actually go in the hobbies and hedges. Because our people, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Indians, they not going on the hedges, they're not gonna drop these videos. You know, they're more concerned of the, the look and glory of man rather than Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. That's why we're hopeful elect because, you know, wow, only the elect will act like that. Will we'll actually do the try to do the right things. You see what I'm saying? So I feel really good in my position. I just pray for more stability and more, you know, guide my steps to keep me on the right path and the, and the, and the, and the, the spirit, the, the, the faith, man, the belief to stay strong in what I'm doing. Um, also, I'm going to get into... First John, the fourth chapter in uh, 19 through 21. It's a lot of a couple in first John that I figured out, found out on. It says uh, 19 through 21. It says, let me go to 18. Here is no fear in love. There is, there is no fear in love. But perfect love casteth out fear because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. Right. Because if you fear the Lord and you have wisdom, you, you have the wisdom because fear of the Lord is the wisdom of how it comes. So you are circumspect and you have an understanding on how the most high Yahweh Bashim Yahshah thinks. So you're going to move a certain way, which will be perfect in love. It says we love him because he loved, He first loved us. If a man say I love the most high and hate of his brother, he is a liar for he that loveth not his brother whom he have seen, how can he love the most high whom he have not seen? Right. And you know, brotherly love and charity is one of the biggest things with the most high, man. He said, you want us to love your brother and love thy neighbor like your own flesh. That's like the first two commandments that he would go after. I'm, I'm going to go into that as well. But this is the love of the most high, man. Following his way, look, loving your brother and treating your brother with respect and love and going about him brotherly is love to the most high. That's, that's what pleases him. By doing that. And our brothers, you know, under the curses, what's that? Um, what's that? Deuteronomy 28 and 54 is like by the by the tender and delicacy that we normally used to go by, that you would have hatred and towards your brother. So yeah, that's that black on black crime that you know, once you come back to the truth, you know that the loving your brother is, is and, and killing your brother and things of that nature and doing harm and lying on him and gossip and murmur and all kinds of different manners of ways that would be harmful to your brother is very displeasing to the most high, man. So that, that's that's the love. It's how you know the most high by you doing these things the correct way. Loving your brother. Trying your best to keep the law set of commandments. Repenting. If you got to fast, do that. You know, stay in the spiritual mindset. You know what I mean? You got this Thanksgiving bullshit in the situation. We don't celebrate those things. So at the end of the day, though, staying away from those things and, and, and the philosophy of it, like really believing in it. You know, tell people, happy Thanksgiving. And you dwelling yourself on, on the Thanksgiving aspect to it. You really, that's not really love to the most high. That would be... Going against him. Um, uh, I want to, oh, 1 John 5 and 3. Boom, here we go. It says, uh, it says, for this is the love of the Most High, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. For whosoever is born of the Most High overcometh the world, that and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Who is that overcometh the world, but that believeth that Yahweh Shah is the son of the son of son of man? Right, so... If you love the Most High, you got to keep his ways, man. Yahweh Shah came on the scene 
and 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 and, and made things be for what into, into, uh, into fruition. The Most High got His commandments and 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 loving your brother and keeping the commandments best way to the ability is how you love the Most High. If you're not doing these things and you're actually know about them, it's really worse a worse better off. In that situation, you better off worse because it's like you know what the father said to please him and how do you want you to move and you're not doing it. That's that willfully sin in Hebrews 10 and 26. There will be no more sacrifice for your sins. You know damn well you got to treat your brother with a different, a different style of energy and you don't. Uh, it's really, really, you know, you know, absent to the, it's all vanity, man. It's not going to be good for you. Uh, I think I wanted, oh, Matthew, uh, Matthew 22. Found some really good precepts. 22 and 36. It says, uh, A master which is the great commandment in the law. Yahweh Shah said, uh, Let me see. Wait, wait, hold up. Yeah, Salakia, 36. Master, which is the great commandment in the law? And it said, Yahweh Shah said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God, thy power, with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy, all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment, right? And then it says, and a second is like unto it, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. One of these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets, right? So loving your neighbor like yourself, mind you, brethren, your brethren is also that you can be the tribe of Gad, but the other 11 tribes are also your brothers. So, so from whatever tribe you're from, salute your brothers, show love to your brothers, especially the brothers that's just doing this truth. Your fellow brothers is the ones you actually really go about, you know, very delicate, very delicately and, and, and it shouldn't offend thy little ones. You know what I mean? So you go about those brothers with respect and love, man. That's, that's, that's what the Lord wants you to do. That's how I was going to have to go. And um, uh, uh, charity is basically brotherly love. So uh, shout, out, shout out to my brother McQua. He put me on this one. This is probably the scripture that I saved for best. First Corinthians 13, I believe it's... Uh, um, you know what? It's kind of like the whole thing. Um, uh, let me start at uh, start at third, start at one. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of the angels and have not charity, I am become as sounding brass or a tickling uh, symbol. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith, so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. Charity is brotherly love, giving and treating your brothers with respect, brotherly love. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, it profited me nothing. <sighs> charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity is envious not. Charity vaunteth not itself. It's, it is not puffed up. Doeth not behalf itself unseemly, seeketh not her own. It is not easily provoked. Think of no evil. Rejoice not in iniquity, but rejoice in the truth. So bear of all things, but believe of all things, hope of all things, endure of all things. Charity never faileth. But whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part and we prophesy, prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. Yo, this is uh deep. This is really deep, brothers. So let me keep on going. It says, uh, when I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then the faith to faith, face to face. Now I know in part. But then shall I know, even as I am, also I am known. And now abide of faith, hope, charity, these three, but the greatest of these is charity. Right. Charity is brotherly love. So let me go into that and go to charity. Um. It says charity, an organization set up to provide help and raise money, voluntarily giving of help, typically in the form of money to those in need. OK, here we go. Charities is a, is a Christian thought that the highest form of love 
signifying a reciprocal love between the Most High and man that is made manifest in unselfish love of one's fellow men. Right. So, yeah. Okay, hold on. Here we go. So, look. Charity has two parts. Love of the Most High and love of man, which includes both loves of one's neighbor and oneself. There it is. That's what I was looking for. So, you got to love your brothers, man. Love your brothers and treat them with respect and love and give unto, unto each other and things of that nature. And, you know, that'll pretty much help us out. And that's love of the most high. So I, I, I hope this is edifying. I brought this out. Um, I was, um, you know, I brought this out. Lord Williams was edifying to the brothers. You know what I'm saying? We we'll give all praise to Yahweh. By Shem Yahweh Shah. By Shem and Kakwadash. Yahweh, he is to be exists. By Shem in the name. And the only begotten son, the Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah. By Shem in the name and the Holy Spirit of Kakwadash. Double honors, apostles, and elders learn truth from GMS, and blessing to the Akima Derek preaching his word with whole our true sincerity, and blessing to 144,000 and one third, the first fruits kingdom of heaven, house of David, the Biyaf Dawada, and Shalom to you brothers out there speaking in different tongues and looking different nations. Shalom, brothers.